Pastor Jay's here. How are you? It's Father's Day. Did you prepare anything for your dad? No. No. You gotta be kidding me. Please give him a massage at least. Okay. Say you love him. All fathers, we thank you for your sacrifice and dedication. And you did a great job. Make sure you express your love to your dad and before the day is over. Got it? Yep, with the PK convention during the past week, I'm sure those who came had a lot of fun and great time, right? Yeah! Thanks to all the big brothers and big sisters. And on the second day, I asked a question to those who came to the convention. What Sunday is coming Sunday, which is today? And I couldn't believe myself what I saw. Only few know it's Father's Day. Then they said, Oh, really? I forgot. Oh, it's Father's Day. Why does Mother's Day so big and celebratory and while a Father's Day is so quiet? I wonder. Actually, watch TV these days. Always a father's role is described as the lack of people in the house, a father who does not know the emotions and feelings of his children, a father portrayed as an insensitive husband, a working father, a stubborn person. In fact, in modern day societies, fathers and husbands and men are being pointed out as people who do things wrong rather than praise them for doing well. But all the fathers, please don't be discouraged. You have us. Stay strong. Tell you that. Okay, right? Thus, I want us to look into the heart of a father uh, through today's scripture verses. There are three stories in, in Luke chapter 15. It's a story of a shepherd looking for a lost sheep, a woman looking for a lost coin, and a father welcoming his returned son. So today's text is a parable of a shepherd who finds a lost sheep, carries it on his shoulder, and returns and invites his friends and neighbors to a banquet together. Of course, you may be wondering, why did he leave 99 sheep behind? Actually, I did exactly the same thought when I was young. The reason is on the chapter 15, verses 1 through 3. It explains the heart of God. Because the priests and scribes criticized Jesus for having meal with the tax collectors and sinners who were reviled by people at that time. So, let's look at what is this parable means. First, it's shepherd's searching heart for lost sheep. Let's read Luke chapter 15 verse 4. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after lost sheep until he finds it? Here, in those days, socially, sheep were the means of subsistence. And one a drachma, a drachma was equivalent to daily wage. Have you had an experience lost money? I did numerous times. Once you get older and you will be like me. So those of you who have lost money will understand what he's going through. Thinking about it all day and all night, even when you sleep at night. And I was so upset and I got up in the middle of the night and searching again everywhere. Yep, it was bad. So imagine how sad it would be if he lost a ship, a means of living. I would be desperate to find a lost ship. That's what it is. That is how our God is looking for us. God is looking for you and me. This is what Jesus said to explain the heart of a father who constantly seeks for us until we are found preciously. So, Let's watch this video. It could explain what is the true father's heart is. I want a better, different father. At least the father who is not mute or deaf, stupid, disabled person. 
like all the Father. Stupid, disabled person who could listen to hope and worries. Who could speak? Who could understand? Please don't let anything happen to my daughter. I have money. I have house. Take it all. My daughter cannot die. For more dear, be good at school. It's my kid's birthday today. Happy birthday. Be happy. I was born as deaf mute. I'm sorry for that. I can't speak like all the fathers, but what I want, what I want to know, that I love you so much. Take my blood. There is no perfect father, but father loves perfectly. Remember someone who is important to your life. This is our father. This is the true love of our father. The second is that the shepherd's loving heart. Look at verses 15, uh, chapter 15, verse 5 and 6. And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors and together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. This is what Jesus said, that if one sinner repents and returns, and Heavenly Father rejoices more than over 99 righteous people who need no repentance. Do you remember a uh, prodigal son? The way father welcomes his prodigal son when he comes home. Here, verse 20. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. Among the parables of the uh, parable son, this is the passage that best describes the heart of the father. No matter whatever we do, God accepts us. No matter how bad we are, God welcomes us. Don't hesitate to come back. Don't be reluctant to come back. He's waiting for you and me all the time. I've been doing PK ministry for a long time. I don't really reveal my age, right? So there was only one reason I kept, do I kept on doing it. I want you to know our Heavenly Father's heart as well as your Father's love. I saw some of PK hate their poverty, hate for being PKs, rebel and struggle. But they came to convention, laughed and ate and shouted, had lots of fun. At the same time, I saw their tears. I saw you found the true love of God. And I saw you rediscovered your father's love. That's what made me come this far. This year was very tough. The meeting was canceled and rescheduled again. 
all of a sudden we got 130 youth and the more difficult for me was that you all have to be in one sanctuary. I was very concerned of your safety due to the coronavirus. I was not sure it was safe enough. Let me tell you this. Where God works, where God is, the spirit of evil also be present to stop God's work. That's what happened to this year. God worked more than ever. Amen. God won and God cast evil spirit away. Especially, I am so grateful and thankful for the, uh, to all the big brothers and sisters came back to serve younger brothers and sisters. And thanks to all the teachers. It was so beautiful to watching you. Here's this year convention. Let's watch. The result was 17 people accepted Jesus as a savior and 14 people made a commitment to become ministers. Hallelujah! I want you to know that one soul is precious and priceless. These are the children who said they didn't like for being PK. Now they understood their father's calling and mission. I saw big smiles and happy smiles. PK is not a beautiful kid. PK stands for precious kid. I'm sure some of you may blame on your father, why even hate. Maybe some of you are not talking to your father. Try to understand. If he's alive, talk to him. Little more, father gets more loneliness. Share your thought. Father's love is like God's love. who is searching and loving until we are found. Please, please be a big support to your father and find true love of God and true love your, your father's love. Happy Father's Day. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us Jesus Christ to save us. And also we thank you for giving us our Father. So especially our Father, so our pastor who called upon to save souls. I'm sure it is hard and it's very tough work. Father, I'm asking for your strength and your power to all of our fathers so they can carry on and their mission. Father, we thank you for giving us wonderful family and wonderful country. 
and let us continuously remember and come forward to you as a strong Christian. Now I'm asking your abundant blessing in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit to every one of us, especially our fathers and our families and our churches and our countries, all the medical steps taking care of patients as they sacrifice their life, all the missionaries and ministers spreading your word throughout the, uh, throughout the world, and all the American soldiers fighting for peace and freedom throughout the countries, bring them home safely. Amen.